What's up? Bradley Aiden Johnson, <laughs> one of my favorite topics. Friends and family. Now, it was my understanding that from birth to should be now and maybe even forever, my mum and dad and other family members loved me and cared for me and wanted the best for me. And all my friends, they also have chosen to be around me and like me and want the best for me. So why is it that all of a sudden, once you start dieting and fitness, they become your worst enemies uh, on this earth? Why is it, why is it, oh why is it, they try to destroy your diet and your fitness? Now, without going too much into the psychology of why people do the things that they do, because I'm not qualified to really go into that, but there seems to be some type of thing with fitness where people don't like to see someone else doing the right thing. It makes them feel inadequate themselves like they see you eating right and they think to themselves oh I'm not eating right and it makes it them aware that they're not so they try and stop you because if they stop you it means you can't do it which means it's not bad that they're not doing it that's what I have found to be the case your friends and family will do everything within their power to destroy your diet you need to be ready for this and it sounds hard it sounds horrible but I found it to be true it's almost as if they wake up every morning whip out a pen and pad and just take down some notes on how can I screw with Bradley's diet today oh yeah that's good I'll do that okay yeah no way oh yeah I'll, I'll do that I'll do it and then they execute that plan with military efficiency to perfection I don't know how they do it I'll give you an example the first month of my diet now bear in mind this is the first month of my diet right I'm still fat I'm still struggling with this it's difficult you know people are eating all this crazy stuff around me and I've got to stop I've got to be like Mm -mm, no thank you, no thank you. I still I still got a taste for burgers, you know. I had a burger I've had a burger pretty recently. I remember what pizza tastes like then, you know, I still like that stuff. And I'm telling people, no, I can't eat that, I can't eat that, I can't eat that. And my dad says, let's go out. Even though I had food that I'd prepared and was in the fridge and was ready to go, he said, No, 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 don't worry about that crap. Let's go out to our local eatery and we'll eat <laughs> so we'll eat out. Now I'm like, oh one one meal's not gonna kill me, let's do it. Oh fine, whatever. I thought when I get there, you know, I'd order for myself. He's like, no, no, I'll order, because he likes ordering. You know, that's the part of person he is. He likes to order for people. He's, you know, being generous like that. Anyway, he orders this ridiculously greasy burger with all these fries. This is perfect bad food for, for anyone that's just started a diet, right? The kind of food that you smell it, like, before they've even cooked it. Before they've even cooked it, you smell that food. That's, you don't matter how far away it is, you're getting that. And it comes to the table, and I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to eat that. But you're at a restaurant now with somebody, you know, my little brother was there as well, and you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to be the guy not eating the food that somebody's just bought for you and, like, having him look at you like, dude, man, I just bought that for you. And plus it's sociable, you know, everyone's eating, you got to eat too, right? Right? So I'm thinking if everyone's eating, I'm gonna eat. So I get this burger, I'm like, oh, come on, and it's the first time I had oil, like you know, on my lips and stuff in a long time. And whilst it did kind of taste nice, it was kind of, to be honest with you, I wasn't really feeling it because you know I'd kind of gotten used to by that stage, um, good healthy foods, and it was kind of a bit, mm, a bit, a bit rich. Either way, I looked over at my dad, and he's sitting there like this. I'm gonna do the pose. Playing with his phone. I'm like, where's your food? He's like, oh no, I'm uh, meeting some friends for dinner later. I just ordered for you. What? You, you brought me all the way to a restaurant with the sole intention of destroying my diet. You're not even eating yourself. I didn't want to go out. You forced us here just to destroy my diet. I was like, <sighs> that was the day I knew that contrary to what I believed all my life, parents and friends, family, etc. They don't love you, they're just trying to destroy you. So, tip number one when you start your new diet is be prepared for your friends and family destroying you along the way. You have to have the willpower to beat them. Ultimately, you'll get really fit and look great and then they'll start respecting your diet and they'll be really impressed by you, but for the first, let's say, seven months, they will try and destroy you. Hopefully that's been some help. Bradley Aiden Johnson at gmail.com. If you have any thoughts or feelings on topics or you want to share some stories of similar things that's happened to you, I would love to hear the kind of things that have happened to other people in, on, in this vein. Uh, hit me at Twitter and or Instagram or follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube and all that stuff. Hope you have a good day. Good luck in your diets and your fitness.